In this lecture, we will learn about selection sort and bubble sort. So let's see first the selection sort. Uh, the selection sort algorithm sorts an array by repeatedly finding the minimum element. Minimum element considering ascending order from unsorted part and putting it at the beginning. The algorithm maintains two subarrays in a given array. Uh, so let's see an example to do a selection sort. Let's say there is an if array 4, 2, 3, 9, 6. So what the selection sort do? Uh, it take the first element as the minimum element for the base case. And then it search for the minimum element in the whole remaining array. And if any minimum element found in this array, then it replaces that minimum element with this first element now. If it consider 4 as the minimum element, then after uh, finding the minimum element in this array, it will find that 2 is the minimum one. Then it will swap 2 and 4. Then it will do 2, 4, 3, 9, 6. This will be the array after first iteration. Now in this case, it will uh, consider 4 as the like second element as the minimum element and it will uh, search for the minimum element in the remaining part so after searching for the minimum element it found that 3 is the minimum element in this part so it will swap it with 4 so 2 3 4 9 6 and now in this case it will consider 4 as the minimum element it will search for the minimum element which is less than this element in the remaining part so it will find that uh, no element is less than 4 so it will remain as it is in this iteration because no element is less than 4 now in second iteration it will consider 9 as the minimum element and it will search for the any element is less than 9 in the remaining array yeah it will find that 6 is the minimum element in the remaining array so it will swap 6 and 9 so it will be 2 3 4 6 9 so after this iteration we found a sorted array it is in a sorted order so that's how uh, selection sort works let's see the algorithm for selection sort it initializes the minimum value at, at two location 0 which as I told you traverse the array to find the minimum element in the array while traversing if any element is smaller than minimum found then swap both the values and then increment min to point to next element repeat until array is sorted okay, let us uh, see an example here 6 2 9 1 4 ok so what's the pseudocode saying it's saying int j min is equals to i where i is equals to zero so j min let me write uh, j min that is minimum value as zeroth element that is six yeah because i is equals to zero uh, I, I is equals to zero so it will be zero only yeah j min is equals to zero now for j is equals to i plus 1 j starting from i plus 1 that is from this position j is less than a length j will go until the last element j plus plus now if a of j a of j is what 2 is less than a of j minimum yes a j minimum is j minimum is 0 and a of 0 is 6 so if a j is less than this yes it is less than then store j minimum to j in j minimum store j j is what 1 because it is pointing at the first index now it will uh, again uh, for loop will run and it will increase the value of j by 1 now in this case if is aj is less than aj minimum now aj minimum stored this value okay because it is containing the first index of the array is it less than no it will again increase the loop now this value is j now aj is less than aj minimum yes it is now so store the value 0 1 2 3 3 in the j minimum now j min will store 3 which is 1. Now increase the value j is this is less than this. No it is not. So now after this for loop will end. If now it's what saying j min is not equal to i. Okay, what is our j min? j min is 3 and i is what? In this case what is i? i is a 0 because first for loop is going on. So i is 0, yeah, they are not equal. And if they are not equal, then swap ai and aj min. Now, where, what is ai here? ai is this and aj min is this. So swap these two values. So it will be 1, 2, 9, 6, 4. So as I told you, it will consider the first element as the minimum element. Then it will find the minimum element in the remaining array. It found that 1 is the minimum element. So it swaps these two values. 
like this it works now in second case what will happen is after this if if condition i value of i will increase by one so now i will point to this value because i will store one now i is equals to one now in j min is equals to i which is j min will also be one now for j is equals to i plus one j will start from this position it, it will go up to the length of the array now if aj is less than aj min no it is not less than so it will not go inside if loop is this value is less than no this value is less than no so what we found that we don't run this if condition and after for loop it will find that j min is not equal to j but the both value of j min and i is not changed so these both are equal in this iteration so this if condition will not run so it will remain in it this position only because it is in, in correct position only so in, in third iteration i will increase again by one that is second index it will point to this value j will start from this value and now is this aj is less than this value yes it is less than this value so store j min is equals to j now j i is two in this iteration j min is uh, three no, j min is also two now what is saying store j min is equals to j what is j zero one two three so it will store three in j min now it will again increase the value of j now this value is less than this yes so store the value of this in j min that is four index of this value is four okay so after this for loop it will check j min not equal to i yes it is not equal because i is two and j min is four then swap ai and aj min what is ai here ai is 9 and aj min is 4 so it will come 4 and 9 so as like that in next iteration it will become 1 4 6 9 so we found that we got a sorted array so that's how selection sort algorithm works now let's see the time complexity for selection sort at worst case it take order of n square comparison and order of n swaps uh, so if you remember in there were two for loops in selection sort so these two are nested for loop that's why they are order of n square at the worst case and order of n swap it do number of n swaps it will definitely do in the worst case now for the average case the order of n square comparison and swaps are constant and in the best case also it will take order of n square because of these two nested for loops and the space complexity of uh, selection sort is constant time now let's see one another sorting algorithm which is bubble sort now what bubble sort says it is a sorting algorithm that compares two adjacent elements and swap them until they are not in the intended order just like the movement of air bubbles in the water that rise up to the surface each of the element array move to the end in each iteration therefore it is called a bubble sort so like bubbles like take an example 9 6 2 4 1 it will start with this element and it will check with this adjacent element is 9 is less than 6 no so it will swap these two values 6 9 it will swap these two values now 9 will compare with this it is less than no it will now again swap this value it will become 2 it will become 9 now it will check it is also not less than so it will 4 9 it will again swap here it will come 1 and here it will be 9. So the array after first iteration is 6, 2, 4, 1, 9. Now it will again check for 6. Is 6 is less than this value? No. So it will swap these two values 2 and 6. This is not also less than. So it will come 4 and 6. 6 is also not less than 1. So it will again swap. Here will come 1 and here will come 6. So after second iteration, the array will be 2, 4, 1, 6, 9. So if you see that after first iteration we got the first largest largest element at the last position and at, that is in its sorted position and in the second iteration we got the second largest element in the second sorted position it works like a bubble like there are some air bubbles and after each iteration the heaviest bubble go up and sort in its sorted order and in the second iteration the second heaviest bubble go and sort in this another position likewise in the third iteration what happened two is less than four yeah then will it not swap now four will check four is less than one no so it will swap one and four four is less than six so it will not swap so after third iteration the it will be two one four six nine and after fourth iteration these two value will swap one two four six nine we'll get a array which is in sorted order 
So that's how bubble sort works. Now let's see an algorithm for the bubble sort. Let's say there are some values 4, 6, 1, 2, 9. So what bubble sort algorithm say first store n is equal to length of a. Length of a is 5. So n will be 5. Now it repeat there is a loop. Swap is equal to false. First it is false. Now for i is equal to 1. I will start from 1 to n minus 1 recursively do. i is pointing to this value that is 1. What we have to do is if a of i minus 1. a of i minus 1 is 4. Is greater than a of i? No, it is not greater than. If it is so, then we have to serve, but it's not greater than. So, end if. Now, increase the value of i by 1. It will point to this value. Now, a of i minus 1, this value, is greater than a of a i. Yes, it is greater than. Then, swap a i minus 1 and a i. It will swap to these two values. There will come 1 and this 6. Now, it will say swap is equal to true is stored, updated or value of swap. Now, in next iteration, I will point to this value. Now, a of i minus 1 is greater than a of i, yes. Then what? Swap to these values. So, it will swap 2 here and 6 here. Increase value of i again. Now, a of i minus 1 is greater than a of a i. No, it is not. So, after first iteration, what we get is 4, 1, 2, 6, 9. So, after first iteration, 4 will add, but until not swapped, will there, we have to repeat this procedure so what is swap value true and not uh, so it will again repeat the value repeat this loop so if the value remain false then this condition will become terminated and will end the procedure but it is true so we have to continue the repeat loop now again it will start with for i is equals to 1 from this position and it will check if ai minus 1 is greater than ai yes then it will swap these two values then it will increase the value of i now a i minus 1 is greater than this value yes it is greater than so it will again swap these two values and if swap is equals to true is also updated okay because we have initialized swap is equals to false now it will again increase the i it is not less than greater than it is also not greater than so it will remain as it is so after second iteration we got 1 2 4 6 9 so see we got a sorted array so now how this will terminate it will again start with for i is equals to 1 that is from this position and it will check to this a i minus 1 is greater than this no it will increase this value is greater than this no it will again increase again increase at last also 6 is not greater than 9 so it will again increase and this if condition will not run because a i minus 1 is not greater than a i in this whole array so it will not run so swap is equals to false false will remain same true value will not be updated and this condition will run and that why it will terminate this loop and procedure and will be run okay so that's how selection sort algorithm works now let us see the time complexity for selection sort at worst case it take order of n square and at best case it will take order of n sorry for bubble sort so bubble sort for what if the array is already sorted one two three four five then in that case it will take order of n because we are not uh, doing swap we are only comparing and moving and comparing only one iteration we we'll found that it is a sorted array but at the worst case what ha will happen we have to do order of n comparison and order of n square in that case its time complexity will be order of n square and its space complexity for bubble sort is constant that is order of one now let's see one question of gate related to these topics what is the number of swaps required to sort n elements using selection sort in the worst case? So we know that at the worst case, selection sort uh, take the number of comparison r. Yeah. So I have teased you in this previous slide. Yeah. You here you can see that I told you that the selection sort at the worst case the number of swaps are order of n only. Okay. Let me show you here. Yeah. This one order of n swaps at the worst case. So answer of this question will be option A that is theta of n. At worst case also it take order of n swaps. Okay. So that's it. Thank you.